what's up everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's cs2 tutorial we're diving into the art of using smoke grenades effectively learning how to throw smokes precisely can give your team a crucial tactical advantage we're gonna show you how to practice smokes in cs2 so that you can become a master of obscuring vision and controlling the battlefield but before we jump into the action if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and it'll keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome back and we appreciate you all for your ongoing support and could not wait to embark on another journey with all of you on board. So let's get right into it, okay? So um, some some players that I know, uh, me included, are practices smokes in Counter Strike offers several um, advantages. One is it it improves the gameplay effectively because mastering smoke grenades allows players to gain a significant tactical advantage, and a well placed smokes can block enemy lines of sight, right? Obscure choke points and disrupt enemy strategies, making it harder for opponents to engage or retake objectives and smoke provide a controlled environment for engagement i believe um i believe that players can dictate when and where they engage with enemies minimizing the risk of being caught off guard in, in objective based game modes like um let's say uh bomb defusal smokes are essential for planning or defusing the bomb Knowing how to smoke off bomb sites effectively can increase your team's chances of success. Smokes create cover for movement, allowing players to cross open areas safely, and this is particularly useful when transitioning between map locations or pushing forward as a team, right? And controlling key areas of the map with the smokes can deny enemy access and create map control for your team, and it can limit the route's opponents, and it also can take and make it easier to predict their movements. Especially when your team needs a retake, needs to retake a bomb site, smokes can create opportunities to approach the site while minimizing exposure to enemy fire. It's actually crucial for you know successful retake attempts. Practicing smokes allow you to support your teammates by providing cover and distractions, and it can give your team the edge in coordinated pushes or defenses. Because as we all know, smokes are versatile tools that can be adopted for various situations. So learning different lineups and strategies with smokes allows you to respond effectively by changing circumstances during match. And being proficient with smokes makes you a valuable asset to your team, right? Teammates can rely you on to create opportunities to control the battlefield with well-placed smokes and in turn for competitive play understanding how to use smokes effectively can give your team a significant edge. Smokes are often the difference between winning and losing crucial round, right? Okay, now we go to play here and matchmaking and then practice. All I gotta do is, um, let's say this is not all... Um, so um, all I gotta do is go to grenade camera. There's a notification here where it says when enabled shows picture in picture preview for grenade landing location and highlights grenade trajectory with a glowing trail, right? So it, it gives you an idea of what's gonna happen. All right, so let's go. Let's load it up. Remember guys, practicing smokes in CS2 offers a wide range of advantages from improved tactical play and map control to enhancing your ability to support teammates and dictate the pace of engagements all right it's a skill that can elevate your gameplay and contribute to your team's overall success in cs2 matches right so i believe that's all to it while waiting for the game to load um thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you have any um feedbacks or comments or any topics that you would like us to discuss regarding about cs2 please leave it in a comment and thank you for your continued support and i'll see you in the next one